Hi, this is Mark Hooper with Lodestone. So let me ask, have you ever recorded narration? And when you listened to it, there were a couple of spots that you wish you could go in and dub over just those specific areas without having to totally re-record all of the narration. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that with Adobe Audition CS6 in this quick tip. Okay, so I've got Audition open and the best place to do this is going to be using the multi-track editor because the multi-track editor is non-destructive and there'll be a portion of this recording that I'm going to show you that if we had tried to do this in the waveform editor, it wouldn't give us the ability to hear the audio prior to the area that has the problem. So we're going to create a multi-track session by clicking here on multi-track and I'm just going to name this dubbing. All the other information is good, location, sample rate, bit depth, master of stereo. So I'll click OK. Go to my first track here. I'm going to double click on the name and rename the first track narration. I'm going to click the R to arm it for recording. And I can see in my case, my microphone records in mono. So it's only coming in on the left channel. Let me make an adjustment here in the default input and change this to mono and choose the left channel and that will balance it out now to both the right and the left side. So I'm ready to record my narration with some issues. So I'll go down to the bar at the bottom where I see the red record button and I'm gonna record my narration. My favorite story when I was growing up was the one about Joe and Jill. You know the one, when they went down the street to fetch a pail of water. Okay, so there's my recording. And I think we all know where the issues are. It's Jack and Jill and not Joe and Jill. And they went up the hill, not down the street. Let me zoom in so we can identify the areas that we're going to need to replace. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of my file and play it. My favorite story when I was growing up was the one about... All right, so I'm right here before I said Joe and Jill and this is an area that I want to replace. I'm going to use my time selection tool. I'm going to click and drag across this area. I even give myself a little bit of extra room. Go to my markers panel. I'm going to click to add a marker around that selection. Double click to give it the name of Jack and Jill. Then I'll release the selection and look for the other area that I need to replace. So I'll just click to release that and then continue playing. You know the one when they went down. So here's the other area where I said down the street. Again, I'll make a selection using the time selection tool around this section. Go to my markers and add a marker and I'll rename it to Up the Hill. Now I'm ready to go back to the first selection and I'll double click to load that back in. And this is what I was talking about, why I'm using the multi-track editor to do this as opposed to the waveform. If I loaded this selection in the waveform, yes, I could record over it, but I can't hear the audio prior to so that I know the natural tone and the, the way that it would blend the best with my narration. And even speaking over the narration to get in that rhythm is sometimes good to do. So what I can do is move my playhead back to the beginning with the area that is highlighted. If I hit the record button, it will only replace that section. All the other audio I'll be able to hear. And then when it gets to the portion that's highlighted, I'll be able to replace just that section. So I'm going to click on the record button and try to replace that area. And speaking with the narration is usually a good idea to get into the rhythm. My favorite, My favorite story, story when I was growing up was the, the one, one about, about Jack and Jill. You know the one when they went. Okay, so it looks like I've got Jack and Jill inside of there. Let me click my playhead a little before that so I can listen to see if that sounds natural. Was the one about Jack and Jill. You know the one. That sounds good. Now I'm ready to replace the area where I said down the street without the hill. So I'll go to the markers. I'll double click to load that selection in. 
I'll move my playhead back prior to. Click on the record button again, get into the rhythm. You know the, the one, one when they went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Okay, let me zoom out now. Move my playhead back to the beginning and play through this file now. My favorite story when I was growing up was the one about Jack and Jill. You know the one when they went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. So now that I'm happy with it, I'll go ahead and release this track from recording by clicking on the R and I'm ready to export it out. So I'll choose File, Export, Multi-Track Mixdown, Entire Session. And I'm just going to leave the default name location. That's fine with me that these locations are chosen. I'll choose the format. MP3 is fine. And then I'll click OK. Thanks for joining me for this quick tip. And for more detailed instruction, come and visit us at www.lodestone.com.